Hi there everyone, it is currently the 21st of December 2011, about 06 zoo for everybody worldwide watching this update today. And we are doing this because we have two areas around Australia here that have a high chance of tropical development. And actually, first and foremost, the one that is being rated the more likely of developing here in the next 24 hours is this area here just south of the Solomon Islands. Both the Bureau of Meteorology and the Joint Typhoon Warning Center out per harbor have upgraded this chance or this system to a high chance of development. If you look closely at it here, it actually is starting to look more like a cyclone. you got good inflow coming in from the north here and also from the south as it continues to flow towards the southeast here within the monsoonal trough. So likely going to continue to track off towards New Caledonia here and really shouldn't affect any other la major land areas besides that island here. Definitely going to remain away from the coast of Australia. But with that being said, there's another area here that could affect the region here around Darwin and that is this one right here. We're going to talk about that here more in a minute, but first and foremost, Let's talk about this area just south of the Solomons. And as I already stated, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center out of Pearl Harbor has given this a high chance of development. So they're saying that likely within the next 24 hours, it could develop somewhere within this box here, about 600 miles towards the east of Cairns here out in the Coral Sea. And one of the main reasons for it here is due to a lack of vertical wind shear within the system. And actually, you can see right over the top of where the circulation is. Have about 5 to 10 knots of shear, a little bit of pocket of 20 right in there. But overall, it really is conducive for development, at least for the next 24 hours. But over the next 24 actually out to 72 hours it's going to start hitting this shear farther down here towards the south and that's going to dissipate it here by the time it gets out to New Caledonia so likely going to be going extra tropical as we stated yesterday here but here's a look at one of the main reasons why both these agencies have upgraded the system to a high chance of development and that is because at, on the ground or over the water surface OBS out here are reporting winds upwards of 35 knots within the circulation and actually if you look closely here you can see the cyclonic circulation here remember in the southern hemisphere for people that aren't really weather knowledgeable here it goes clockwise out here and if you see here you have that cyclonic circulating across the center of the circulation here for this area of low pressure. So what does that mean? Well, it does mean this is gaining more organization in it. And actually, if we look at the visible imagery here now, you can really see those inflow bands coming in through across the north and south of the system much more clearly here because with the visible imagery, you can see all these low clouds and these cumulus clouds around the system. But this right here, all these cumulus cloud tops, this is where that center of circulation is right now. And if you look closely at it here, really does look fairly organized and also a lot of convection within it and that means that it has more potential for moisture and heavy rainfall here as it continues to track towards the southeast towards New Caledonia so what does that mean well it looks like New Caledonia might get some heavy rain showers here in the next several days and actually if we start out here on Tuesday and then we go out towards Wednesday you can see those rains continuing to increase and push down here towards the southeast with that cyclonic circulation here using the GFS models one of the models I really like using usually accurate as far as the development and the movement of these systems but see that continuing to track down towards the southeast but I do want to also mention here see by Friday and then into Saturday so it really starts becoming dispersed with this uh, kind of cold front developing here off towards the Coral Sea as the system continues to push south well as due to that high amount of vertical wind shear you're going to start to see the system dissipate from a warm core low more towards a cold core low which means it's not going to be as symmetrical in circulation here so it's going to look more like a westerly type system and you kind of see these polar lows run down towards the south by this time it looks like it's going to be developing that type of a system and then by the weekend you'll see it continuing to push south here you could see some how to rain bands here along the eastern coast of australia but it's not going to be anything tropical in nature more like some rain showers is pushing on shore from the system as it continues to drift off in this direction but really the only land mass that i think will get hit majorly at this time is new caledonia here specifically new may a lot of them that really the main metropolitan area here on the island definitely continue to keep an eye on the system as it tracks off in this direction looks like you're already getting some cloud covers some reports out of there already saying you're getting some rain showers already but definitely looks like it's going to be picking up here in the next 48 hours as that system continues to track in your direction and also, we're looking at this area here just off the north coast of Darwin. Now, JTWC, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, has rated this a low area of possible tropical development in the next 24 hours. 
And if we look back at that GFS model outlook here, it does look like it is developing this system and then brings it off towards the southeast towards the Gulf here by the weekend. So still kind of long range out here, but I really do think that this area is going to develop and do something at least at this time. Where it's going to be going exactly as I stated yesterday might run off here towards the southwest, but I think the ridge of high pressure out in this direction is going to keep it from going that way. So likely going to be tracking it off here towards the south. So what does that mean? Well, Darwin, you're going be seeing a lot of rain showers with this and possibly even parts of Queensland if it does go off into this direction on the long range by next week Queensland could see some heavy thunderstorms with this but still long range out definitely continue to watch the Bureau of Meteorology and also our partners at 28storms.com have some really great video updates on this as well and if we look a little bit closer at the system on the visible imagery here you can see it is fairly disorganized if you're unfamiliar with the geography in the region this is Darwin right in this region here you have Indonesia off here towards the north here but really at this time it is very disorganized but it does have a lot of convection with it it does have a lot of these cumulimbus clown tops you can see these overshooting tops right in here and also here so that means that it has a lot of potential and a lot of moisture with it so we're definitely going to keep a very close eye on this system over the next several days but that is all for right now everybody if either of these systems have any further development throughout the day today i'll definitely put out another video update and as i already noted 28storms.com our partner here they're also putting continuous video updates on these two systems as well but uh for everybody out in the western pacific i'll have another late update later on this evening for the uh, philippines and much of the eastern portions of asia but if you have any questions comments or suggestions as always please post them in the comment box below and thanks again for watching everybody have a great day bye